Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Avid Studio Pro. Today I'm going to show you how to do a watermark logo to put in your videos. Now a watermark logo is a logo you'll see on the videos usually in the bottom left or right hand corner. It's used to stop people from stealing parts of your videos and put them into their videos. So it's really good to protect your investments or your videos. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it in Logo Creator software by uh, Laughing Bird. This is great software. You can use it for web design, graphics, videos, uh, print, whatever. And then I'm going to show you how to do it in Adobe Photoshop Elements 9. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to File, New Logo. It's going to give you a blank canvas to work with. I'm going to stretch mine out to about 1280. You know, I don't have to. I like to kind of set it up so that it's about the same size as an HD video and that way it makes it easier for me to scale it down to size. Next thing I'm going to do is go to file import image and you can choose your image on your computer or on your external drive. Open it up you see it here on the canvas. Now I'm going to get it over here where I want it and I can leave it at this size if I want to or there's a few things you can do. First thing you can do is you can go to attributes. It's going to open up as soon as you put the image on there. When you go to attributes, you can turn it. You can flip it horizontally or ver vertically. And you can scale it. So I'm going to scale it down a little bit because I want it to be small, like if it was on my video, which is going to be a small logo on the bottom left hand corner. And I'm going to position it about where I would want it to be on the video. Now remember, I'm doing it this way because I have it at 1280. You don't have to do that. You can leave it the size that it was and just leave it alone. Uh, you also have some other object, options here. If I click Done, I can change the color if I want to of this. I can make it a gradient color. I can make it normal. I can also add shadows to it. You can toggle shadows on and off, as you can see. There goes the shadow. A lot of different things I can do with this software. Um, change the color of the shadow, the opacity, uh, add a blur to it if I want to. So a lot of great things you can do with this. Well, I'm just going to leave it like it is. I'm going to click done. And I'm going to go to export. And I'm going to do it as a PNG transparent. What that's going to do is it's going to make all of this white transparent. And the only thing that's going to show is the logo with the black around it. Now, when I do the uh, Adobe Photoshop Elements 9, I'm going to show you how to get the black out of it. But for this, we can leave the black in it. So I'm going to go to Export, PNG Transparent. And I'll just give it a name. So here we are in Photoshop. What we need to do is go to File, Open. And we're going to open up the same picture that we had before now for this one I want to take all of the black out of the background so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image magic extractor now the first eraser here or the first marker here is the thing you want to keep so I'm going to put red dots all around here on the things I want to keep now, of course, when you do this, you don't have to click on every single little thing. You don't have to make as many dots. I just like to make this many dots. It's my preference, and you can do it to your preference as well. Then you want to click on the marker with the minus sign. It tells you all the stuff you're going to be removing. Now what I would recommend you do first is click on preview. A little bit too much. Click preview again. Much better. So now I pretty much got the logo that I want. So I'm going to click OK. Now you'll see that I don't have any black in the background. I just have my logo. That's all I have and that's all I want. So now I'm going to go to file save as and we're going to go to the drop down arrow and call it a PNG okay we're going to give it the name whatever we want 
and click save and you can make it uh, interlaced or not it really doesn't matter now let's go ahead and talk about how to import it into your videos so as you can see I have a video down in the timeline here and what I need to do is I need to go to one of the tabs above the media and I'm gonna go to photos and I'm gonna go to the location where I have the logos now this is the logo that I made in logo creator so I'm gonna bring that down into the timeline above the track and then there's a few things I could do I could just stretch this out and make it match up but if you know it's a long video longer than this and you know the time of the video if you go to the end and you see like maybe it's four minutes you can just right click on it go to adjust duration and type in the duration that you want and then hit OK now what I need to do is I need to open this in the effects editor so I right click on the clip of the watermark and then I go to open effects editor I'm gonna go to pan and zoom in the middle and all I'm going to do is, like you see, it's already perfect to the size of the video because I made it 1280. You can do the same thing in Photoshop if you want, but it's all right. So now it's going to show right there on the bottom of my video. So I'm going to click OK. And now you'll see it's there, right at the bottom of the video. Okay. Now the few things I could also do if I wanted to, I could right click on it, go to open effects editor again. And if I wanted to, I click on pan and zoom. And we'll go to effects. And we'll go to keyers. And if I go to studio chroma key, if I want to, I can apply that and just change the transparency of it so you can see things through the logo. So if I do that and click on OK, you see that the logo is kind of transparent now. So you can see some of the things behind the logo. So that's the first option. That's the option with the one from the logo creator. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And now I'm going to use the other logo I made in Photoshop. So I'm going to drag this down. And now you can see on this one because I didn't do too much, I just moved it over to the side. I have to do some more adjustments so I'm gonna stretch that out I'm gonna right click on the clip go to open effects editor I'm gonna go to pan and zoom I'm gonna move this up like this and also if I want it to be smaller than what it is I can change my zoom and bring it down which is actually opening up the size of the window but as you can see it's gonna make when I click OK it made the logo get smaller a little bit. So let's make that a little bit smaller. Go back to the pan and zoom. And we're gonna zoom up some more to about there. And then position it where I want it again. Click OK. And now you see, got smaller and moved to the side a little bit. Once again, I can right click on it, go to effects editor again, go to keyers. And I'm going to go to the chroma key and I'm going to move my transparency up again. Make it see through. Click OK and now you can see the logo see through. So that's it. How to make a watermark logo for your videos in Avid Studio. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.